What's up, GI TV? It's me, Bantha Bill, and I'm back here at Airsoft GI. And today, we're going to be doing an overview of some brand new air guns we just got here at airsoftgi.com. All right, so first things first is before we go over any of these guns, it's very important that you guys know that these are air guns and not airsoft guns, meaning that these are not intended to be shot at anybody and are pretty much strictly for target practice. Now, they do use either metal BBs or metal pellets, and they're going to be shooting some of these at velocities of over 1,200 feet per second. So, thing is, always wear eye protection. That is very important. You don't want to shoot your eye out. You know, this is not the Christmas story. And the other thing is always, always, always make sure you know what is behind the target you are shooting at. You don't want these to hit anybody because that's going to be very painful and you can really injure someone. So now that we're done with that, let's get on to the guns. Now the first gun I have is the Tangfolio Gold Custom which retails for $119.99 airsoftgi.com. Now this pistol does use CO2 housed in the magazine and is chambered in the 0.177 variant of the BB. So it's a little bit smaller metal BBs, usually copper or there's steel or something along those lines. Now, it is going to be blowback. So like, you know, the airsoft guns you are used to, the slide will reciprocate as you fire. Now I am holding the slide release enabled for it to do that because on the last shot, it will lock back. It does feature ambidextrous safeties and another nifty feature that it does come with is this mount right here comes with the gun, optic not included, but if you have a red dot or something you want to mount on it, you'll be able to, no problem. Now next up on our list, we have something you may have seen in the Airsoft variant. This is the ASG 8-inch Dan Wesson Revolver, which retails for around $140. And it, like its cousin, it does use shells. But I want to point out that this one does use a pellet, and for those of you that get it, in order to load the pellet, you got to screw the fake bullet off of the casing. So remember that we, we learned that the hard way because it took us like 50 times to finally figure that out. So maybe just read the instructions. Um, and like a real revolver, all the functions are the same. CO2 housed in the grip. Check it out, really awesome. All right, so next up on our list of revolvers is my personal favorite out of all of these ones. This is the Umarex Colt Peacemaker Single Action Army chambered in the .177 caliber of BB. And I must say, this thing is awesome, and honestly, my favorite part about it is just this noise. That just sounds like classic, 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 classic Western. So this one does use shells like the Dan Wesson revolver, but they are loaded a little bit differently. In this one, you actually have to open the trap door, which is right here, put it to half cock, and as you rotate, you can make the shells fall out. Now, I'm not gonna do all of them because I'm gonna have to put these all back in, but it makes you feel like a cowboy, and it's totally awesome. So out of all of these, highly recommend this one. Shoots about 410 feet per second, and I must say, really authentic replica of it, and check it out, Airsoft GI, totally awesome. All right, so moving on to the rifles for $170, airsoftgi.com, we have the Umarex Fusion .177 caliber pellet gun. Now, it's important to note that it's pellet and not BB, because if you try and load a BB in this, it's gonna just roll out the barrel. Now, another important note is that it does use two CO2 cartridges, one with the nozzle facing this way, and then the other one with it facing this way, and it goes in this tube right here. And another fun feature is that it is bolt action, but every time you cock the bolt back, you have to turn the safety off. So this guy shoots about 750 feet per second as a good starter gun for those of you that are looking to get into the world of air guns. Now next up, we have our first of our two break action rifles. This is the Umarex Torque .177 caliber pellet rifle. Now, like I said, it is going to be break action, which means you are going to bend the barrel and that's going to cock it and compress all the air that you need to fire this bad boy. And like I said, it does use pellets and it's gonna be retailing for about $179.99 airsoftgi.com and the feet per second on this thing is gonna be right around the 1200 FPS mark. That is incredibly fast. So. Check this one out. It comes with an included scope, which we took off, and it does have fiber optic sights, so very easy to aim without an optic. Now, finally, out of all the rifles, this was my personal favorite, and after a quick check of online and making sure that Bob didn't type the specs wrong, it is only $179.99. This is the Ruger Magnum chambered in 22 caliber 
pellet. So this is gonna be shooting a little bit larger of a pellet than the other ones that you've seen. And it shoots right around the 1250 FPS mark. So another one that shoots incredibly fast, it's break action, it's heavy. And the crazy thing about these rifles is there actually is some recoil to these and they are pretty loud. So check this one out. This one's my personal favorite, comes with the scope and the fiber optic sights are really nifty. So be sure to check all of these out, airsoftgi.com. I might actually pick up one of these because I haven't had a BB gun or a pellet gun in a super long time and I just kind of want to destroy some cans. Also, if you guys haven't seen, we still have a few of the March Mayhem mystery patch packages available. Now, for those of you that don't know, $5, you're guaranteed a patch of that value or more, but there's a bunch of different gift cards in there, including one for $1,000. So just think of all the awesome stuff you could buy for $1,000 here at Airsoft GI. I can tell you one of them would be this, the Ruger Magnum 22 pellet rifle. Really want it. I think I might try to buy one and see if I can pick this thing up. Anyway, once again, I'm Bantha Bill. This is GI TV. I'm back for all of you, those that missed me, and we'll see you guys next time. The real firearm version of this rifle fires a 7.62 round, whereas mine only fires a 5.56, so the bigger round, bigger magazine. But the best part is Classic Army includes not only one, but two high capacity magazines, 470 rounds each. As well as uh, you do have the rotary style hop up there, which is nice. It's gonna make it uh, easier to make fine tuned adjustments to your hop up. And it clicks in place. Yes, which is nice. Um, now, in addition to that, we do have modified trades here on the left side. You do have a sling, a sling attachment position on the rear of the receiver on the left and right side of the gun.